Hey Jordan here, welcome back. So we're going through our site settings in Kajabi and now we're on to third-party integrations, which allows us to connect to other applications that work hand in hand with Kajabi. So let's go ahead and click on that and take a look at the third-party integrations. So you'll see that the first part um, are email integrations. Uh, with Kajabi, you have email marketing already built in. So this is only if you were already using another system and you were just integrating Kajabi for the membership platform. In our case, that's not the case. Um, so we don't need Aweber, or MailChimp, Drip, ConvertKit, or ActiveCampaign because we already have our email marketing platform built into Kajabi. So we don't need to worry about those. Um, then we're going to look at the analytics. So they allow uh, you to integrate with Segment, Google Analytics, and Facebook Pixel. So um, we're not going to set this up right now uh, because we're going to want to take our site live before we integrate with Google Analytics. Um, but when we do, we'll click this on button and then we'll put in our Google Analytics ID and then it will start to track our Kajabi website uh, with Google Analytics. Um, Kajabi also has its own analytics built in, um, but it's usually best practice to have your Google Analytics because if you're going to run any type of AdWords campaigns, you're going to want that uh, set up so everything integrates. So you can set goals, all the different things like that. So I'm going to turn this off for now. We'll wait till uh, we take the site live. Um, next is Facebook Pixel. Um, you're going to want to use this when you start running Facebook ads. So you would click the on button, you'd put in the Pixel ID, and then it tracks it. So um, if you didn't have this, you would have to normally add in a JavaScript code. So this makes it super easy with Kajabi to track your Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel. Um, we're not going to do that until we actually are running Facebook ads and we have our site live. Um, and then uh, it also connects with Zapier, uh, which is a third-party integration tool that's really awesome um, to connect to other things. But as of now, um, I don't need to connect to other things because Kajabi already has everything that, that I'm using. So um, on previous platforms, I would use Zapier to connect with like a webinar platform, but Kajabi's already got that built in. Uh, or I might use it to connect with an email platform that's not um, on this list, but I've already got that built in with Kajabi. So really, at the moment, I don't have a need for Zapier. Um, and the last one is ClickFunnels. If you're using a ClickFunnels account, it allows you to uh, connect with that, uh, but we're, we don't need that as well because we already have all of our automations and email marketing built into Kajabi. So let's click back to settings. And that covers our third-party integrations. And in the next lesson, we'll be going over email templates.